Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In the previous video, I showed you how to make this contact form work. Now this is basically a custom design that we made for our Blogger homepage. And uh, right now this contact form works. Now in this video, I'll show you how to make this search box over here work. So let's get started. Now this is our custom homepage and if you scroll down, and if we take a look at our sidebar, we have the search form somewhere over here. So here we have the search form inside the main container after the logo. Now what we need to do is we need to replace this form of the search box with the form of our blogger search box. So if you go to any of these pages and here we have the blogger search button. And if you right click over here and go to inspect, here we have the form and we need to get the HTML of this. So let's right click over here and click on edit as HTML. And let's copy this form from here. And let's paste it just below this form. And here for the placeholder, we need to change this to search here. And let's go ahead and update this. Let's go back to our home page and let's reload this page. And here we have our previous form and below that we have the form of the blogger website. So if I just type something over here, we can see that the form is there, but we don't have the correct styling for that. So let's go back and let's see how this form is structured. So here we can see we have the div with the class of search box and in that we have the input field. And here we have this div with the class of search input. So let's change this to search box. Now here what we will do is uh, we'll just remove these classes from here. These are the classes added by the blogger theme. Now here instead of this input field, I'll just change this into a button with a type of submit. And in this button, we will add our icon. So let's close the button over here. And let's scroll up and let's get the icon from here. So here we have this icon. And the icon is inside the search icon division. So I just add this button inside the search icon division. So let's type div, the class of search icon. And let's close the div over here. And I think this div should be closed after the button. And this button should be inside the div. Let's cut this ending div from here. This is for this search box class. And we need to add all of this inside the div. So we have the search input field and the button. And in this button, let's add the SVG. So let's go ahead and copy the SVG from here. And I'll just paste it inside the button. And let's click on update. Let's go back to our home page and let's reload this page. And here we have this button displayed and uh, it is not being displayed correctly, but let's test whether it is working. So let's just search for how and let's see whether we get some results. So let's click on this button. And here we can see we have the result for how displayed over here. So the search functionality is working all right. Now let's fix this uh, appearance. Now in the button we have the SVG. So let's set some width for the SVG. So let's go ahead and go to the CSS. And here we have search box, search icon. And in that we have the SVG. So let's type SVG over here. And we have set the width to 20 pixels. And let's click on update. And let's go back to the home page and reload. And this is how it looks. And let's go ahead and add this border. So if you go back, here we can see that for the input with the type of text, we are adding this border. But if you scroll down and if you go to the search box here we can see that the type is not set to text so let's set the type to text and let's click on update let's go back and let's reload and now we can see we have the border and here we have this button displayed over here below the search input field so let's fix that and if you take a look at this we have the search icon and we have the search box. Now this search icon should be displayed on the right side of the input field. So let's see what's the problem. Let's go to the CSS. 
and the problem is that we have changed this selector so we need to set the width for the svg and all these other styles should be added to this selector search box search icon so let's delete svg from here and uh, let's type search box search icon svg and here we will set the width to 20 pixels and let's click on update let's go back to the home page and let's reload this page and now we have the button displayed on the right side now we need to remove the border and the background of this button we just need to keep this icon so here let's target the button so let's tap search box button and let's tap background transparent and uh, let's set the border to none and let's click on update let's go back to our home page and reload and this is how the search box looks now we need to bring this icon a little to the left side so let's right click and go to inspect and let's select the search icon and let's change the right value so let's type right and uh, i think 18 pixels looks all right so let's go back and for the search icon we need to change this to 18 and now we can go ahead and delete the other search box that we have so we have the search box right here so I'll just delete this form this was our previous search box and let's click on update let's go back to the home page and uh, this is how this search box looks and uh, it is working all right now when we go to the mobile version here also we need to have the search box displayed so right now this doesn't work so we need to add the search box over here as well so let's copy this form from here so this is the search box and uh, let's copy this and paste it in here so this is the search box for the mobile version so it is after this contact so let's add our form over here and let's click on update let's go back to the home page and reload let's go to the mobile version and uh, here we have the search box let's type something over here and uh, let's click on this search icon and here we have the search results displayed so everything is working all right so that's how you can make the search box work in your blogger website so we have created this custom search box for our website all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day